Still alive and kicking this spring? If the seasonal allergies haven't got you by now, can I interest you dolls in another spring pickup? This batch has another very prominent and unique theme. That's right! They're all units that first released before the current year. Life Wonders is on fire with these innovatively arranged bundles lately. Should you get some spring cleaning of your stone hoard done for this banner? The Smoke God! Maybe you should go meditate for another thousand years. These changes aren't getting you much closer to Nirvana. It's probably fine though, you've already discovered the secrets to immortality. With the ally ahead of you guaranteeably escaping death's clutches every turn, the cost of your immortality. A master of life manipulation, you can also trade blood for blood in combat, healing for every enemy hit. Your recent meditations amplify the healing, reverse your sacrifice of vitality, and progressively purge impurities. For the few quests where enemies can't poke the backlight, such as the Ikabukuro dungeon, Smoking makes your teams unkillable. Otherwise, he has a strong spirit but fragile body. Be gentle with him. Kida! One of the few options to the correct strategy of buff shuffling. Tita imps ally damage while boosting the rates in a twofold manner. His team basks in his radiance at the start of each phase. And a chosen recipient receives an additional blessing to indicate his favor. To his chosen one, he also spoils with a hot and a damage emit. Any praising buffs he receives, he returns them in kind to his favored, while cleansing and energizing their vessel. If his favored is Itzamna, the two will mutually gift each other indefinitely, which has the potential to create juggernaut teams stacking every buff under the sun. The vain boy king deserves 100% of the buffs he seeks. Just don't tell him you're passing that phrase to everyone else on your team too. <laughs> All the training in the mountains has matured his fighting style to one of coordinated aggression. Ikutoshi wants to tag team with fellow pugilists and will blaze the trail by holding down the enemy while giving his whole team a boost to follow up and deal the finishing blows. Without too much in the way of defense, Ikutoshi resists deaths with nearby allies once and brings out the fighting spirit from allies who have suffered some damage in the fray. If you want good damage uptime across your entire team, Ikutoshi is a worthy contender in the ring. You may want to chaperone him with some defensive options though, as a lot can happen in a few turns of exchanges of fists. His recurring nightmares have pumped Jampavon with loads of adrenaline. Among other biological loads, Jampavon quickly builds his charge if he can reach his tasked targets in succession, increasing his workload through double checking and peer review. With his team concentrated on the experiment at hand, the chance to make a breakthrough with each target inflates massively increasing his lab's impact factor. He is prepared to handle any editor's comments and suggestions by both proactively and reactively raising damage and defense. And if all else fails and his funding runs out, Jumbovan can survive the failure and can keep doing so as long as he gets his charge up before next time. Don't worry if you think his workload is too large, he's used to being overworked all throughout the night. Behold, such beauty! Such a pure form, such an exquisite physique, such stunning features. Cracking nearly as much damage as Fushi, Hogan deals 71,000 damage per square, guaranteed out of the box, and comes in with a bit of handy utility packed in, between skill denial, debuff negation, and extended movement. He even denies enemy movement, amplifies damage done in adjacent columns, and can further amplify team damage at a full charge meter. Yes, Hogan's pretty much got it all, though there is one teensy tiny thing he lacks. Namely, Mercy. We don't have enough topics for our lightning round, so here's a quick review of Kengo, who has not evolved since my last review of him. So, should you do some last second pulls? Well, it turns out, just like New Semester's past, Part 2 ended up being far better than Part 1. Like the Part 1 banner, you won't leave unsatisfied. But, unlike before, there are real crown jewels here that may act as your centerpiece for the many quests ahead of you. That's all for now, cuties! Catch you next time!